Beauty Bunnies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today, my loves? I'm super excited today. I'm going to show you guys how I created these really fun tags that I just finished making. I am so in love with these tags. I think they came out so, so, so pretty. Um, they're very simple, I have to say. They're, they're really just um, a very simple tag. They, it doesn't really have much of anything except a few stickers, a few cupcake liners, and some paper. Now, you obviously can always dress up your tags by adding more things to it. I wanted to stay a little bit um, kind of simple and just like easy and just really um, just just make it like as simple as possible really to be honest with you. Okay, so let me show you how to put this tag together. The very first thing that you're going to need is a tag, obviously. So if you have a tag that's already created for yourself, like myself, I have these that I bought at Target. I bought so many of these tags. Um, Target has tons of these tags for a dollar. I love them. I love the greenery um, on these tags. So I have so many of them. So I figured let me use um, these as um, tags and then I can kind of like work around them um if you do use these tags make sure you go and cut out the word joy because to be honest with you we're going to be covering that word that word is not going to show and um if you can maybe use this um word for like another project you know why not so um yeah another option is um you can always work on the back of the tag if you want to keep this side the way it is, just work on the back of it. So this way, your tag has both front and back where, um, you know, whoever you're gifting this to, they'll see the front and the back. I honestly don't mind covering up the front of this tag because, again, I have a lot, so I'm okay with that. Okay, now that we have that down packed, that's what we're going to do. So I picked out these two tags. Another thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into your stash where you have your wonderful paper. I'm going to use this one from Michaels. Um, I have this from last year. And um, the paper that I decided to use in this paper pad are these beautiful flower like greeneries with the little berries. Um, they're really, really, really beautiful. So what I did was I used this paper to cut out circles. I used my punch and I just cut out circles to create myself some something that I can add my sticker to okay that's basically it all right let's put this tags together let me put you close to me and I'm gonna put them together and as I put them together then I can just explain to you so I have some cupcake liners here that I got from Michael's last year I'm going to add my cupcake liner in front of my tag because, again, I want to cover the word joy. And um, I just think the contrast of the black and the red and the white looks really pretty. So I'm just going to do that. So I just scrunched my cupcake liner to fit to the um, tag. That's all I did. So you fold it in half, you crunch it in the center, make it smaller, and then you open it up, and then you play around with the size that you're looking for, and that's basically it, okay? We're going to hot glue the cupcake liner to our tag, right in the center, okay? Just like that, right in the center. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And that's basically how we're going to start building this tag. Okay, so, so far, that's what you're going to get. Beautiful. We're going to use our paper that we cut out or that we use the punch and we cut circles. We're going to use this to add our stickers to. Um, so this way our sticker can hold on to something, right? So... Let's pick the sticker that I have here. Now, these stickers I bought at Hobby Lobby. They were actually 
on clearance when I bought them. They 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 cost me fifty nine cents, um, and I got them at Hobby Lobby. But I'm pretty sure you can probably find these stickers really anywhere. I think I have seen them in Michaels, um, and I also seen them in AC Moore. Something similar to this. Okay, um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're going to use these stickers. So I have here. Let's see. Where is the one that I opened? Oh, here it is. This is the one that I started opening. So I have two that we have to create, right? So let's create um, this woman right here. And I'm just going to add her. Oops. I'm just going to add her right, right in the center of my paper that we just uh, punched out. See? Just like that. And then I'm going to add um, this woman right here. See that? And that's what you should get. See that? Okay, very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the Santa hat to the women. The Santa hat that I have here is the one that I got at Michael's. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these Santa hats. They have them this year. I had them from last year. And I'm going to use these Santa hats to decorate my little women. Okay? So here I have these Santa hats, and I'm just basically going to add the Santa hat right on top of the, the lady's head, really. Okay. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some... Um, double-sided, uh, not double-sided, these are uh, foam um, little square uh, tape on the back of the circle that we cut out. And I'm going to double layer them so I can get myself some lift when I add this to the front of my tag. Okay, so I add one square and I'm going to go back and I'm going to add another square right over the first one. And that kind of gives you more of a lift on your embellishments. Okay, all right, so now, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to take this off and we're going to add some hot glue to the back of this little foam. And we're going to add this right over. Not in the center, because if you put it in the center, you're not going to be able to see the cupcake liner. You're going to kind of put it a little bit off, so that you can kind of see the red cupcake liner, the red and white, okay, cupcake liner. If you put it in the center, that's going to cover it, and it's going to defeat the purpose, okay? You don't want that. All right, we're going to do the same thing with this one. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put it off. Just a little bit off so that you can see the cupcake liner in the back and that's basically it that's beautiful already so let's um what I did with these I decorated the Christmas hat with like a little cute little tiny bow that I made out of this um this kind of like twine that I got at Target okay so here I have these two little bows that I already made and the bows are really tiny because I don't want the bows to be too big. Because, again, these little stickers are kind of small. They're not that, you know, big. So, you don't want your bows to be bigger than your stickers, obviously, right? Okay, so let's make these bows a little smaller than what they are. And then we're going to trim the tail. We're going to add a little bit of hot glue to the back, and I'm going to add this right over the Santa hat. Okay. Just right over this little corner right here. And you're going to get something like that. See that? How cute is that? I love it. Okay. Let's do this one the same same thing. Let's make the bow a little bit smaller in size. Okay. 
I'm going to cut a little bit off this extra hot glue and then we're going to add it to the Santa hat. Voila. There you have it. We're basically done with this project. The only last thing that I want to do, I'm going to add my little twine so I can hang my tag to my gift. And that's basically it, guys. That is all I did for this tag. Again, I went very simple on these tags. I did not go crazy. I did not um, do a lot of embellishments. I kind of wanted to go simple with this tag. I don't know why. I kind of, I'm one of those people that I love to over embellish everything, but sometimes I just feel like being simple, right? And um, I guess with this tag, I just felt like being simple, just keeping it very simple and very um, easy to the eye. So, okay, there you have it. And that's how I created these really lovely tags. Aren't they pretty? I just love them. I hope you guys enjoy watching me make this, guys. I hope that um, this gave you some ideas. Um, I hope that um, you guys are enjoying my Christmas series. I will be doing another video for you guys today. I'm going to do a goodie bag um, video showing you how I put it together. And then, um, and then we're going to carry on with the Christmas series. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I am super excited about this Christmas series. I have so many ideas for you guys. I am very sorry that I'm going to be posting a lot of videos back to back. But I do have to catch up um, with um, the series. And so that's why I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos. But I hope that you guys are okay with that. I hope that you are enjoying yourselves. I love you very much. Have a fantastic weekend. Please make sure you like. Please make sure you subscribe. We're almost, almost to 10,000 subscribers. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am super excited. So guys, I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you again um, in a few minutes, right? We're going to put these goodie bags together. Okay, my loves. Love you all. Bye, honey bunnies.